Every year, I host one ride. The curry and ride. I've been doing this ever since I started riding, which was five years ago. So this is gonna be my sixth curry and ride. I just feel it in the air. It's gonna happen soon because it's fall. The leaves are changing colors. The snow is on the mountaintops. The air is crisp. The pavement is cold. <laughs> It's time for my curry and ride. So, so yeah, I mean, I help organize and I attend a bunch of rides every year, but the curry and ride is mine. What it is, is kind of two parts, curry and ride. So the curry part, uh, I make Japanese curry for everybody. It is vegan. I'll serve everyone who comes. Uh, everyone... There should be something for everyone because I make a mild curry as well as a spicy curry. And like I said, I make it vegan, but with the option to put shrimp or chicken in it if you like that. Um, and then the ride is after the curry. Uh, we just go up the canyon for a little bit. It's not a long ride, but it's a beautiful ride up the canyon where we stop at a lake take pictures and uh, disperse from there. Oh, I have to tell you the date. It is going to be November 7th, weather permitting. November 7th is the first Sunday of November. If the weather is all right, we're going to keep it on the 7th. If it snows or if the roads are wet, I don't need to be putting you in unnecessary danger. So we can move it back a week to the 14th. But for now, we are going to plan on the 7th of November. Everyone is invited. It's a motorcycle ride, but honestly, it's kind of crazy to be riding at such cold temperatures. So if you come in a car, I'll still feed you. If you want to come just for the curry and not for the ride, I get that too. If you want to come just for the ride and not the curry, I'd love that too. Another unique thing about my ride is that I have every type of rider come out. I didn't just say every type of bike, I said every type of rider because there are riders who maybe don't have a bike right now or who can't ride a motorcycle right now. Those people are so welcome and show up and represent. And then of course all the different motorcycle types. I have the track guys that usually don't go to meetups. And I have the stunters who always make any event super fun. I have uh, the Grom riders. I've had professors and students and brand new riders, seasoned riders, everybody. Oh, it's just so much fun. I have a Korean ride t-shirt, but they sold out so fast and I haven't made new ones. I'll just have to keep you guys posted on that. Um, I'll let people know via Instagram when I get new shirts. Oh my gosh, it's such a pretty day. I love it. I love riding in the cold. Like, my bike just feels so much more crisp and responsive. And something about like the adrenaline that comes with being in the cold gets it going. It's getting dark now, so I probably shouldn't go up the canyon, but I definitely do want to record a quick session up the canyon to the spot that we meet after the curry and for the ride. It's called Deer Creek State Park, I think. Uh, during the summer uh, and the warm days, uh, it's a state park, so they have to pay to get in. But since it's so cold and so winter, <laughs> by the time uh, the Korean ride comes. There's never anyone at the booth asking us for money. <sighs> I won't have the shirts ready in time, but those will be for sale throughout the year. It's, it's a timeless shirt. It'll never be like in season or out of season. I'll make shirts, hoodies. I'm gonna make, I haven't announced this yet, but I'm definitely going to make some like kid sized shirts. All right, I should be wrapping up this video. Enough chatting. 
just know that you're invited to my Curry and Ride 2021. This is the sixth annual Curry and Ride. Sixth time I've hosted this event. It's gonna be awesome. Like I said, you're invited no matter if you ride or not for just the curry or just the ride or both. Love to have you. I will be posting more details and updates on my Instagram, so follow me there. Aya, LOL, what? AYA, LOL, W, U, T. Stay warm! keep on riding a little bit longer but now I regret it because I forgot to braid my hair now it's super tangled for sure I didn't notice it because it's in a ponytail but that that just won't do it for me my long hair I should have just gone home but it's so fun riding in the dark. Night riding. <laughs>